See, the crazy truth is it really boils down that we left God. Like, that's what I was walking around thinking. Like, where do we find ourselves where we need buildings and certain books and teachers to tell us, hey, you should love each other. Like, you should try to be a better person. Who are we? where are we that we need all of these different things and religions and people and teachers and experiences and all of these things to teach us how to be why is that why are we searching for how to be and why are we trying to figure out the best way to be? And Because we left being, we left God. And we really don't want to go back to God. We don't. Otherwise, we wouldn't still be here. We want a family, we want a career, we want a status, we want to achieve our dreams. We want a happy life, we want to be a good son, a good daughter, we want to be a good father. <laughs> a pillar of the community and we don't want God though that's all statuses that's all conditions that's appraisal and achievement and attainment and What is a good dad if no one sees the dad that you're being? What is a good person, good dog? If nobody sees it, there's no such thing as it. Like without the appraisal and the status and the feeling of it and that being the grounds for your identity, without the opposition to see it, it like it doesn't exist. We don't want God. We don't want love. We don't want, we want to be seen. We want to feel important. We even use God for that church and all that. It's just status, man. We in a place where we had to try to create all of these things to, to kind of house us and, and slow us down. Because what if there was no worry or no consequence for anything that you would do? Then, then who would you be? Like, we in a place, man, where we got to go to building, think we got to go to a building and go to an altar. And be like, save me, help me. From what? From yourself. But I don't think we really grab the depth and magnitude of of being asking to be saved from themselves. Save me from myself. Because you left love. We left love. We left neutrality. We left equanimity. Through desire and want. It's like not just desiring to be rich and powerful and successful. It's the subtle stuff. The desire to be a family man, a good father, a good... All of that is still leaving God. Who are you without any of that?
we left love. That's what happened. And we're trying to find it in the thing that manifested from us leaving it. When you just gotta lay down the thing that manifested from you leaving it. Release the mind that created it. And return back. But if you want anything here and attach to anything here, you can't go back to God because you automatically saying you don't wanna go back to God. You're saying you wanna still hold on to this life but you want God to give you relief when it doesn't go the way that you plan it to go. That's not going back to God. That's what it is. People don't want to let go of this life and return to God. They want to keep playing in hell and have relief from the demons that's attacking them. But they willingly choosing to play in hell. That's what it is. You want to play in the muck and expect to not get dirty. You want God to come clean you and wipe you off. When every time he comes clean you and wipe you off, you go just belly flop in a mud puddle again right after. It's time to get up and clean yourself off. That's how you return to God. Stop asking him to clean you off. You clean the stuff that you know ain't no good for you. Like, we, we, act, we don't want to take responsibility. We know it ain't no good. The whole place ain't no good. We don't want to accept that. We want to look at it and say, well, but you know this and you know there's good here. Oh, okay. How's that working out for you? To return to God, you got to let go of the world completely. Not just certain aspects that you don't feel are good or that aren't serving you. Let it go completely. We shouldn't be in a place where we need to go to buildings and have people tell us how to be and what to let go of and let you know where we at. Let go completely. But the choice is yours. That's what free will and being a free being is all about. You don't have to return to God. It's up to you. Love y'all. Stay up.